everyone. So this is the beginning stages of the nail design we're going to be working on this week. And I decided to do a newspaper nail design. I did this once before back in the past. It's been many years. So I decided to do another one. Um, the first thing I did was for my pinky, my pointer finger, and my thumb, I'm just going to leave plain. I painted with a blue nail polish. The one that I use is the same one I showed you once before. It's by Broadway Nails. And it's called Bowling Ball. Really, really pretty blue uh, polish. So for my ring finger I'm gonna, and my middle finger, I'm going to do the design on. I've already applied the newspaper on my nail on my middle finger. It's not on straight, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to do some hand painting on top of it. So the method that I use for applying the uh, newspaper um, is several different methods you can use. Um, I see a lot of um, ladies using the newspaper. They uh, dip it in alcohol and just press on the nail um, to get the, the newspaper print on your nails. Me, I just actually apply the actual newspaper on my nail. So um, I cut out a piece of newspaper here. And I'm going to apply it on my nail with Seshi Vite. I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, the fast drying top coat. That's what I use all the time on my nails. And I'm using it because it dries faster. And two, it seals really well when you're applying paper on your nails um, after you apply it. So what I'm going to do, I took, I have a, a little small piece that I've cut here already. I'm just going to dip it in water. And I do that because it's flexible and it's easier to manipulate while it's wet. Um, you also can take a light buffer and buff the the um, the newspaper a little bit to thin it out, and it'll be a little more flexible as well. Um, whichever method you choose to use, me, I'm just going to apply it um, straight on my nails after I wet it. So I'm going to dip it in water first, and I'm doing this. I have a bowl of water sitting to the side. I'm just going to dip it in water and wet the newspaper first. And this piece is a little bit. Um, wider and probably a little bit too long for my nail um, which is fine I'm going to trim it off um, afterwards so I wet the newspaper and I'm going to apply some of my fast drying top coat on my nail I'm just going to apply it just on the tip of my nail um, I have my base coat on my nail that's the only thing I have applied already and I'm just going to apply apply some on the tip of my nail And while the newspaper is wet, I'm just going to pick it up and apply it on my nail. Like so. And I'm just going to press down. I'm going to hold it down for a bit. And let it dry. Now I'll probably have to apply a little bit more on it as well. And afterwards, I'm going to apply another layer of top coat on. I'm going to apply it over the entire um, newspaper. And basically, what I'm going to do is uh, trim it off after the top coat dries. So I'm going to apply one layer on top. And I know it looks crazy right now, but uh, this is the method that I use to actually apply it on my nail. And you can see how much longer that is over my nail. So I'm going to take my cuticle nipple and I'm going to trim off the excess and I'm just going to cut it as close to my nail as I possibly can without cutting my nail You can see the way it looks now. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little more top coat underneath on the sides um, to make sure that it's down good. It looks like it's pretty much down already. So I'm just going to apply another layer of top coat on. And then I'm going to take my buffer and buff, lightly buff the tip ends of it um, after the top coat dry. 
and that'll get rid of the excess um, newspaper that's kind of hanging over a little bit. It'll get rid of all of that. So I'm going to apply another layer. This top coat, the Seshi Vite, um, in my opinion, it works better because it's a thick top coat, a thicker top coat, and it dries fast. So it works perfect when you are uh, actually applying paper on your nail. So I'm just going to kind of fold this down a little bit on my nail. And I'm going to take my buffer, like I said, when it's dry, and buff off the pieces that's kind of hanging over a little bit. So I'm going to let this dry, and then I'll be right back. So now I'm going to take my little fine buffer and I'm just going to buff off the excess paper that you see. And I'm just going to file in one direction. So now I'm just going to go around and uh, look at the edges of it and add a little more top coat uh, on the paper that's kind of sticking up a little bit. So. If it's sticking up, I'll just push it back and add a little bit of top coat underneath and hold it down. And that's basically it. I'm going to clean up around my edges with a brush and some nail polish removal. But I'll do that last. So that's all the steps that I've done to this nail here. And I'm going to go ahead and do the hand painting on my nail. I'm going to be hand painting a flower and I'm going to also going to be using some Swarovski crystals toward the end. Uh, the Swarovski crystals that I'm using are crystal clear and they're size 4SS. They're really, really tiny. Um, the paints that I'll be using, um, I'm going to be using a two shades of blue. The first blue, the darker blue that I'm going to use is more like a raw blue. Um, it's by Apple Barrel and it's called Neon Blue. So I'll be starting off with that. And on the inside of the flower, I'm also going to be using this um, kind of like a periwinkle blue, but this one is called Sky Blue, and it's by Apple Barrel as well. So this is a lighter blue that I'm using. I'm also going to be using some white paint a little bit, and the green that I use is called Holly Branch. It's by Apple Barrel as well. So this is the color. So those are the colors I'll be using. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to do the same de design on both nails.
so that is basically it for this nail design. Hope you like it. Let me know what you think, and I will talk to you later, YouTube. Till then, take care.